Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the minimum point of a quadratic graph. So we've got some quadratic curve with this equation, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 10, and we want to find the coordinate of this mystery point at the bottom, the minimum point of this quadratic. Now the key point is to complete the square. And then once we've completed the square, we'll work out what we do with that and how that relates to the minimum point of the graph. So let's do that. We've got y equals x squared minus 6x plus 10. And we explored how to complete the square in another video, so please watch that first if you don't know what that means. Do you remember you halve the number on front of the x, so it's going to be x and then minus 3, close the bracket and then squared. And then do you remember you take that value, you square it, so minus 3 squared is 9, and then you throw it away. So we don't want that minus 9 because if you were to expand this, you would get x squared minus 6x plus 9. We don't want the plus 9, so we're going to subtract it. And then we've still got that plus 10 at the end. And then that gives us x minus 3 squared. If we tidy up, minus 9 plus 10 is plus 1. Now, how does this relate to the minimum point of this graph? Well, we want to get the smallest y value as possible. So let's suppose we were to sub in a value of, I don't know, 0 as x into this and work out what the y is. And you wouldn't usually write this in your working, but this is just a kind of side thing. If x was 0, then y would be 0 minus 3, which is minus 3, squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. Now, can we get a smaller value of y than that? Well, yes, we can. If we made, say, x is 2, then y would be, well, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. But in fact, we can do even better. So if x was 3, can we make y smaller? Yes, we can. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 squared plus 1 is 1. And in fact, that's the smallest value of y you can get, y is 1. Why do we know that? Well, the reason is, is that when anything is squared, it has to be at least zero, because if you squared a negative number, it becomes positive, which is more than zero. If you square a positive number, you get a positive number, which is more than zero. But zero squared is zero, so that's the smallest you can make this squared thing. And to make this thing zero, you make x three, because then three minus three would be zero. So we choose the value of x which would make this squared thing zero, which in this case is three. And then if you sub in 3, we end up with the y value being this number at the end, the plus 1. So the answer in this particular case is 3, 1. But in general, for your notes, if you've got your quadratic equation in the form x plus a squared plus b, then the minimum point is negative a, b. So whatever the number is after the x, you negate it and that will be the x value. So in this particular case, we had minus three here, we negate it, it becomes positive three, so that's the x value of your minimum point. And then whatever the number is at the end, so the plus b, in this case the plus one, the one will be the y value of your minimum point. So that is the key point of this video.